I think we won the game 2-1 when we played with three men in the back. And then I think we lost the game 3-2 when we changed to a back four uh, during second half. Uh, gefeliciteerd uh, na zo'n wedstrijd met alles erop en aan. En dan de strafschop heb je genoten vandaag. Ja, het was een was tough introduction to, uh, to Dutch football. Um, but we knew, we knew in advance it would be a difficult away game for us. Uh, the reigning champions with uh, not a lot of changes in their, uh, in their line-up and in their, in their squad. Um, and we started off quite bad and, and conceded a goal where we should have done better. We shouldn't have stopped playing. But then uh, I think the, the boys, they showed the mentality that, uh, that Feyenoord is also famous for. They, um, they kept pushing and kept going and, and scored some good goals. Uh, jullie winnen vandaag dan uiteindelijk na, uh, na strafschoppen. Uh, wel vier tegendoelpunten ook. Hè? En in een week tijd zijn het er twaalf. Is dat het voornaamste zorgenpunt wat jij in je hoofd hebt? Um, I think I got a lot of issues. I, I think I got a lot of things that is on my mind. Uh, good things, bad things. Um, I think I said it also earlier. Uh, I think our offensive play is, is is quite good in many aspects. Today also was difficult in, in some aspects, but offensively um, we we have some good patterns and we have some good quality. And then of course we um, we need to look at the defensive uh, part of it. Uh, we already been busy uh, and we'll, we'll continue. Uh, I think if you ask uh, my colleague uh, Peter Bosch as well, he's probably also not happy with conceding four goals. So. It, ja, yeah, als coach ben je nooit blij met vier goals en definitief die die we vandaag hebben today. Ik weet dat we het beter kunnen in sommige aspecten kunnen doen, maar we zullen daar voor zorgen. Ik ben niet in in doubt. Ja, staat het dan wel goed achterin met maar drie man achterin? Het is natuurlijk makkelijk om daar dan meteen naar te kijken. Is, hoe ga je dat evalueren? Ja, ik ga het zeker kijken. Ik ga het zeker evalueren. Ik denk dat we het game won the game 2-1 won when we played with three men in the back. And then I think we lost the game 3-2 when we changed to a back four uh, during second half. So it, I, I don't think it comes down to the system alone. I think it's too easy and I don't agree. But um, I think it comes down to, the, of course, some individual decisions. And then there's maybe the fact also it's a new coach sitting here with some other principles in the, in the style of play and in the, in the defensive shape. Uh, but I think also last year they conceded uh, some goals here at PSV as well, and it's a good team. Uh, but it's it's for sure an element we we need to do better. But it's also an element that I expect that we we not easy because it's not like this. But uh, it's some of the uh, the things that we could could fix in um, in a good way. Ja, gefeliciteerd. Je begint met een prijs bij een nieuwe club. Hoe belangrijk is dat voor je? Um, I think isolated then then it's um, I'm not important in in this aspect. Uh, the whole club is important and. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud to be to be part of this club and, and sitting here uh, and represent the, the club and, and definitely lifting a, a really nice trophy uh, beginning of the season. Uh, so in, in that aspect, I'm not important uh, and, and, and how I feel in that aspect. But obviously, of course, it, it's it's important to win football games uh, and especially when you're a new coach, uh, you need to, to win some games and, and hopefully at the end of the season as well, some trophies. Um, that's also why you are at final there's some big expectations uh, from uh, not just the supporters but also the the management the the board and and so on and, and that and that's part of it um, but when you're talking about the longer process and the coming weeks and months then it's definitely a, a step in 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 a good direction uh, that uh, that hopefully also will release some energy uh, around 1908 um, which has definitely been tough they come from two years of a lot of success They come from two seasons with a lot of success for the coach, who's now at a different place. Uh, I'm different. I do, do I do things in a different way. Um, that's how it is. No matter which system I play, I'm different. Uh, so you definitely felt that there's some, some, um, a lot of focus on uh, on how I do things and how we do things. And and at the end of the day, I, I think these boys they really deserve to get all the energy out because they've been working hard for five weeks, being proactive in, in getting things done in the, in the right order. De keuze voor Timon Wennenreuter. Uh, waarom kies je uiteindelijk voor hem als eerste keeper? Sorry? Waarom kies je voor Timon als eerste doelman dit seizoen? Ik denk, first of all, um, it was not an easy decision. The two goalkeepers that we have are, are really at a high level, um, top level, and, um, and definitely made the, the decision uh, difficult. 
Uh, I'm not going to explain you guys uh, why and, and, and give you uh, small things uh, why I believed in, in this. I think it's quite obvious why he's in the goal. Uh, in that sense that um, I, I believe that, uh, that he was the, the right one. And then all the, the small details, uh, why and, and why not Justin, uh, I don't think it's this is the right moment and this is the right place to discuss it. I never want to discuss why I pick players over others because it will always be misinterpreted and I don't think it's fair to anybody to, to do it in that way. And, and I hope you guys will respect that also. Uh, I put in Timon because I, I believe in him for sure. I believe in Justin as well, but uh, only one of them had to be in that call. Ja, werken jullie mee als Justin daar zelf om vraagt om een transfer? Bijvoorbeeld zijn jullie als club bereid om daar dan aan mee te werken nu dit de situatie is? I don't think it's a question for me. Kan je op deze manier, zoals je nu tegen PSV speelde, kan het ook tegen Willem II thuis? Want die gaan je waarschijnlijk 90 minuten lang de bal geven. Uh, that's, that's, that's a really interesting question. Uh, right now my thoughts are not about Willem II. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, my thoughts is getting in the bus, driving home with a trophy to, uh, to Rotterdam and enjoy that. Uh, and then I know tomorrow we'll definitely look at Willem II. I've already seen some pictures on them. I know it's going to be a difficult game at, at the club. But uh, I also expect it's going to be different than, uh, than today. But that is definitely one of the games where we need to show our quality. We need to get a better start than, uh, than last year, where we had two draws. And that's definitely um, the ambition when we go at the club on Saturday. Then the boys are ready to smash and they will go all in. And as I said already, the energy that this trophy gives it should release some extra power and belief in, in many aspects. And uh, I was really happy to see the boys in the dressing room. They, um, they really felt this as a big boost as well. Thank you.